The storm hit the Cincinnati Zoo, which delayed its opening this morning. Not on your sides, Tamika Artist is live with a look at that damage right now. Tamika. All right, well, uh, they were supposed to actually open the zoo at 10 o'clock this morning, but they had so much damage here, so much cleaning up to do that they actually just started letting visitors into the zoo about five minutes ago. I want to take you out and show you some of the damage. This is what zoo workers walked into first thing this morning. This video, pretty unbelievable. It shows an enormous red oak tree, nearly two centuries old, that was nothing compared to those powerful wind gusts from overnight. Now, we can just you can just imagine the intensity of the storm that could have brought down a tree of this size. Visitors were turned away as employees spent the morning picking up debris, tree limbs, and branches. Head zookeeper Thane Maynard says losing this particular tree is like losing a member of the family. On the sad side, we lost the biggest tree at the zoo, one of the few living things at the zoo older than I am. This tree is over 175 years old. It was originally here in Blakely's Woods, which is what this area was called before it was turned into the Cincinnati Zoo in 1873. So that'll be a big loss. As they say, it leaves a big hole in the sky. All right, certainly a sad day for folks here at the zoo, but again, they are starting to let visitors into the zoo right now. And coming up in my live report at 1230, I'll tell you what they're already doing here to make sure the legacy of that red oak tree lives on. I'll have that coming up in a half hour. Back to you.